Okay, so my wife did something interesting today. Show us what you made. I made watermelon steaks. <laughs> Tell us the process. So I marinated them for like a, more than an hour in soy sauce, rice vinegar, um, some seaweed, and yeah, like salt and things like that. And then I cook them in the oven for an hour to draw out the moisture. And then I grill them on the stove to make them like give, to give them some smoke, some charcoal. And I have to say, like it does not taste like fish, but it tastes, I don't know what it tastes like, honestly. I, I have no idea, but I think that I, like my goal was to make a poke bowl and I think we can put this on the top of the poke bowl with some like spicy mayo and I think it will be good but yeah do you want to try it I'm gonna try it okay so here I'll take like this piece right here it's still very juicy show us sweet it does look like salmon or tuna but I think it's supposed to be like fake tuna It's like, I taste the marination and the texture is kind of like raw salmon, but I still taste the sweetness as well. And I don't know if it's too sweet. So maybe I need to like cook it more or marinate it more, but I think it has a lot of potential. And I think this one here was a bit thick. So it has more of like a raw inside and this one is thinner. So this one has more like fishy consistency in terms of takes texture. But it's good. You have to try it. Come on. Here. Try the thinner one. Because I think that came out better. By the way, I didn't think this was possible. Cutting into it, I feel like I'm cutting into literal like raw meat a little <laughs> bit. But it's very tender. It splits easier. You don't, I'm cutting it with a butter knife. But that's how tender it is. It's a big bite. This is how it jiggles. It jiggles like jelly. This could be fat. Like, if you told me this was, like, fat <laughs> from, like, a um, kangaroo, I would believe you. Or, like, a whale. Yeah, this is, like, whale fat. Wow. Anyway, I'm scared. It's watermelon. <laughs> what do you now, think? I'm no fan of watermelon. This is an interesting taste. I don't like watermelon. Acti knows this. Yeah. But I like the smoky outside. I like things that are sweet and also kind of charred. And that's the flavor I'm getting from it. It's not hella chewy. It's not like I bit into meat. It just sort of dissolved like watermelon would. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, I think maybe it could be cooked more. I think you could just straight up like burn this thing and see how that comes out. Because I think that would give it a more interesting flavor. You want to try that one? Let me see how this one goes. That one is like, the inside is still a bit more... It's you know, smoky. I don't know if y'all can see that smoke. It's hot. It's straight out of the oven. That's straight up smoke. Right there. I think this is like straight out watermelon. <laughs> I love the skin on the outside. Like that black, black part. I just love that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's just like watermelon. <laughs> that's just like watermelon with like a, like what's it called? Umami taste. That's it. Watermelon with umami taste. Because that's what it is. <laughs> Either way. Uh, Here, it I'm, would be interesting. I give it a six out of ten. Okay. Six out of ten. It has potential, like you said. But good job. High five. I'm going to make a Pokeball and I'm going to make it. Okay. Will you eat it? Sure. Anything that you see on TikTok or Instagram, wherever you're finding these You know these what? Recipes. Don't eat it. These Gen Z. Here I am cooking for my husband and he doesn't want to eat it. These Gen Z wives. They ain't built like the millennial or the Gen X wives. I tell you what. That's a different, it, this is a different thing we're dealing with here. <laughs>